Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Trap on the Boomer Bus channel, a Bears podcast by Bears fan. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm your host, Terry, and thank you if you're subscribed. If you're not, click the button. Either way, thumbs up, all that helps uh, grows the channel, and thank you for it. Anyway, so Bears, uh, I, I really don't think we, these recaps are going to be too long this year, to be quite honest with you. Um, we we kind of know what it is, but... If you are a new listener or whatnot, and you're coming here, and you're, you're cheesing because we're two and one, and you thought you know you was about to get a cheerleading contest, not gonna happen. Um, the record does not mean much. I mean, you look at the games; we know exactly what we got in this team. And um, if you were uh, wondering about how they feel about Justin Fields, oh, they told you today. They told you. I mean, Lovey has the Texans defense, you know, solid. But they're they're not a great defense. And overall, we know they're not a great team. And so for us to come out at home after what we did last week and just completely show you we are scared to throw the football. Not that we don't like to. Not that we don't want to. Not that, you know, anything else. We are scared to do it. When you get in a third down with timeouts, time to drive the field before the end of the half, and you just run and punt, you just let the time go down. It just, in so many situations, they've told you how they feel about fields. They are scared to let this man throw. And so, look. I mean, I, I know the announcers and people say this all the time, which I absolutely hate. They always say, well, none of that matters. You're winning or none of that matters. You won the game. And, you know, my favorite, you know, sarcastically, my favorite saying uh, a win's a win. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's absolutely not. I don't care that you're in the middle of a game winning. What happens when you get down and you need to come back? And I don't care if you won a game like that. What happens when you're going against a Texan or a team that's not the Texans offense and they're putting up points on their drives and you're not getting stops? There is no reality where you can win this way. None. And um, we'll probably go to the tape uh, and look at the run game. Uh, we've been effective. I'm not going to say anything other than that. We've been effective. Um, the first game was a monsoon, so I don't really count that. And then we just, who do we just, we just played the Packers and we ran pretty well. And today we ran re really well. Again, it's not like we went up against one of the best run defenses, but um, we, we still have been effective. So I, I like to go to the tape and look at that. But even still, you, this ain't the 49ers level of running the ball. Like, I don't even need to have this conversation. I'm going to stop because if you really think the Bears are contenders right now, I, I don't know what to tell you. So we know definitively now what they feel about Justin Fields. Um, it, it, and that's rough. That That's really rough. But as you saw when I talked about the film, uh, exactly what I saw. I don't think um, the Bears are doing him any favors with the supporting cast they put him out here with. And I said that literally every day, all day in the offseason. Um, but also... At the same time, Justin Fields is not looking good. And this is exactly what I was scared of. You can tell the man is looking to run as soon as he can. And all these people, all last year with Trubisky, or years before with Trubisky, last year, every time, we got to get him on the run. You got to get him on. You didn't do your quarterback any favors because you're not getting him on the move. You got to get the quarterback on the run. That's where he's comfortable. First of all, Justin Fields didn't throw on the run a whole lot at Ohio State. Um, he was comfortable from the pocket. Number two, you cannot keep doing that. You saw the Texans today, and you saw the Packers last week, and you're going to see it again and again. This is an NFL defense. You're not going to be able to boot action all day. No. They're going to be sitting there. They're going to scheme up the backside just like they did, and he had nowhere, uh, Fields had nowhere to go. 
because he wanted or you want to boot him out and get that run uh, pass threat. That's what you do. But once they start cutting it off, he panicked. There was no pass threat. It's just a run threat. And that's why it's easy for them to stop him because all you have is the run. And so some people asked, uh, they asked, uh, last, or not last week, but the first week, they were like, how did they get wide open? And as I said, because we weren't doing anything else. It was the same thing today. It's like sometimes we get big plays by being so bad. It's weird because we are so ineffective that they expect the exact same thing of us and then we could play action off of it or do something different, but that's not going to hold up. That's not a winning strategy. So um, the defense, we were down in the secondary and they were all right. They're all right. Uh, Gordon is still having a rough time. Gordon is still having a rough time. And overall, I mean, we know what Roquan is. Overall, the D-line is just, you know, it's, it's, it's like a C. They make some plays, but then there's also some times where we get no pressure. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, they, they were okay. I, I, there was definitely some times the Texans took advantage of us, especially running the ball. Um, and, you know, Dougie Mills is struggling this year, but obviously any type of, you know, uh, solid quarterback is going to make those plays. And, you know, uh, we have Jalen out there, but, yeah, you know, we, we were okay. <laughs> we, we were okay. I don't think there was honestly too much to say um, about the defense. I, I will say one thing, though, I do remember. Moreau, uh, Moro, Nicholas Moro is way better in coverage than I ever knew about. Um, he is really pretty good for a linebacker, so I see why he's out there on nickel. He's been really good in man coverage kind of uh, quietly so far this year. Um, but, yeah, other than that, I mean, we battled. It was two not good teams. <laughs> but And we came out with the win, big play by Roquan, and, you know, that, that was it. So that's it for me. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, obviously, Montgomery getting hurt is a huge thing. But you saw uh, we were still able to run the ball on that with Herbert and everything. But, uh, yeah, I do want to acknowledge that's – it's funny because uh, on my Madden season, that just happened to me before the playoffs. He got hurt for, like, three weeks. So – um, I was like, oh no, not Dave Montgomery. That's my offense. And that's pretty much how I feel in real life. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, that's it for me. Go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up, subscribe, and remember, stay up and bear down.